Okay, so it's been about five minutes after we brought Charlie over. Uh, Charlie went around and peed and did some stuff. Lacey kind of came and investigated. There we have a little, the uh, genesis of a little bit of play. Charlie is helping out by laying down, which is a lot more, less confrontational of a body position. Lacey actually walked over here towards me, which is the first time she's ever done that. Uh, and her tail's up. And her tail's up. Um, and again, I think that a little bit of the opposite sex, and they have almost the same tail. Yeah. Look at Charlie's tail and look at her tail. Um, we're not sure what Charlie is. He's a poodle mix of some sort. Um, yeah. Yeah, he could have a little Shih Tzu in him. He's got a Shih Tzu type yeah, tail. Uh, but Charlie, the, Charlie peed right over here, and uh, this is called uh, caused uh, Lacey to uh, want to pee there several times. <laughs> uh, but I mean, her body language looks a lot better. Her tail being up, her mouth is open. She's wandering around. She's not just you know gravitating towards the door or towards her humans, as she of course goes towards the door there, right there. Um, but again, this sort of stimulation is going to go a long ways towards helping her remember what it's like to be a dog. I was actually thinking Charlie oh, would be a little bit more active than he is now. Um, but, uh, and she's like, all right, I'm back. I'm ready to go back inside. But no, we're not going to go back inside right now, Lacey. Here, we're going to kind of hang out. Come on, come on. Come on. That's awesome. Good come girl. on, baby. Yeah, you're a good girl. I mean, normally, can you call her? Does she come that yeah. quickly? Sometimes yes, no. sometimes no. She, she, she where, doesn't. Okay. It depends upon what she, what she thinks you want her to do. Sure. Like if she wants to go inside, she'll zoom. Right. If you call her, come inside, then she'll. But if you say, "Oh, let, let's see, let's go over here," and yeah, that's what we like. Yeah. Sniffing, re sniffing rear ends sniffing and crotches ends. is is always a good sign. And face to face, and Charlie's helping out by <laughs> being goofy, yeah, yeah. a little bit goofy. Hi, Charlie. Are you a goofy doggy? He huh? is. Are you Happy a goofy? Dog. Dog? Yeah, he was. I knew he was. His energy was exactly what we needed, and uh, yeah, she just looks a lot more relaxed and comfortable. So. Again, what I would look like to see you guys do is it, talk to your neighbor that has the little dog because if okay. she's interested in your neighbors, that would be ideal because okay. that way you could have afternoon play, play dates and okay. play sessions. But even if that doesn't work, you know, I mean, you can go to Craigslist, uh, you know, when you're out walking her because you're going to start walking her more and more now that she's doing better on the walks. If you run into somebody who's got a little dog, especially if she shows interest in it, hey, we live right around here and, you know, sure. we're looking for a playmate for, uh, for Lacey. You know, do you guys, would you guys be interested? And you never know. You might, like, if you guys are going out of town, you might have somebody that, you know, she could stay at their house and vice versa. So, I mean, if you had somebody who had a dog that stayed here for a day or two, right. that's even better stimulant because that's all 24-7. Right. So, I love this. This is great interaction and stimulation. Now, yeah. Lacey, you're doing awesome, sweetheart. Uh-oh. Charlie Pete again. Let's go do another dry run. <laughs> is, it, is it productive for us to just put her outside and be like here? No, because I don't want her to create. I don't want to. Uh, I, I think for her. It's just like, oh, well, I could just put her outside. Well, sometimes for some dogs, yeah, but for her, I could see her yeah. it'd be creating a negative situation. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I, so I want the outside to be, to be good. Yeah. Okay. And right. so. Now, what we can do is I'm going to uh, cut the filming here in a sec. Oh, Charlie's doing a great job by getting down underneath her. Um, I'm going to have us just kind of sit at your deck and just, if we're standing, we're kind of transitory. So if we're sitting, then we kind of look like we're ha more hanging out. Now, the problem is this might cause the dogs to gravitate be on the, on the porch as opposed to in the yard. So if that's the case, then you might want to walk around there or maybe set up a blanket over, you know, in your yard here somewhere over there so that there's more interaction away. But uh, no, this is uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. No, I'm. My my thirst has been quenched by just seeing uh, Lacey uh, with such more relaxed and uh, interactive body language and behavior. You're doing awesome, sweetheart. I typically, like if I'm 